Thinking of doing your HGV license? Well, you've just passed your HGV license. Not sure on driver's hours. Not sure on working time. Not sure how you've hitched up to a trailer. Not sure how you strap a load. Then why not check out the new Essential Truckers Handbook? Crack a little book, jam packed with information. Lots and lots of information on it. Nice handy size to carry around. I keep it in my shelf up the top there, so if I need it, I just refer to it. It's got so much information in it, guys. Uh, link will be in the description. Take a look, check it out, enjoy it. Enjoy the video, guys. Greetings! How the devil is everyone this week? Hope everyone is well. You yeah, join me Thursday morning. Presently, I am uh, heading north on the M6. It's uh, been a complete old change. I was originally supposed to be going south today. Uh, I got home last night. Been home twice this week. Uh, I was on Monday night and I was home last night. It's very unusual. It was uh, nice to spend uh, some time at home with Mrs. Jenko. Um, but yeah, anyway, back on to the day. I am uh, heading to Gargrave and then to Kilmarnock for a Friday morning. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's what I thought. Um, for some unknown reason, it's not very usual that uh, we go up uh, to Kilmarnock for a, uh, for a Friday, uh, but this week we are, and I have been chosen to do the job. Um, I was supposed to be doing um, the three dropper, uh, London Lintels, um, Cowfold and Horsham. Um, but then uh, when I was more or less back last night, then uh, the office rang me and said it's uh, all changed. Um, we, got, we got this one in the yard ready to go. Uh, it needs to go up tomorrow and then uh, into Kilmarnock for Friday. So. Yeah, hopefully I'll be back tomorrow night and uh, I'm not holding my breath. All depends on the back load from, uh, from Scotland because I'll be at uh, Route 74 tonight. That'll be probably about a 9 hours 15 drive to get there. And uh, yeah, we just have to see how the next couple of days go really. But I want to try and sort of... Uh, do some videos that are reduced in time. Um, let's say my last one. Oh, talking of videos. Massive apologies for there not being a vlog last week. Um, yeah, it's some major issues with uh, one of my SD cards. Decided it wanted to corrupt. Um, there was some footage here, but not all. So it basically, it wouldn't have made any sense. So I decided against actually putting out what I did have. Did start to do the uh, some editing and then uh, I thought no this ain't gonna work so I knocked it in the head and that's when I put the little message out to say that there wouldn't be any vlog this week for last weekend so yeah sorry guys sorry there wasn't anything uh, but spent some quality time with Mrs J so that was good um, talk about oh yeah the uh, UK four points trip the tour uh, the sponsorship is doing really really well um, last time I looked we were over 2100 pound uh, for cancer you uh, cancer research UK so thank you everyone that has uh, supported us and uh, hopefully that's just gonna keep growing and growing and growing um, I didn't start the video this morning because uh, it was all dark and everything else and I've been listening to Teapot One and his podcast coming up I've just finished listening to that so I thought well I'll come on board now and say hello to everyone start the video off uh, tell you what I'm doing currently on the M6 just gone past Junction 13 heading north which is the Stafford turnoff um, I am two and a half hours away from Gargrave I have had a major delay uh, it's like a 40 minute delay from M5 going on the M6. There was a uh, car transporter broken down on the inside two lanes, just as you get on the junction uh, onto the M6 off the M5. So 
So that was causing some major delays. That was T. Uh, that was queuing all the way back down the M5, down to Junction Two. So that was a bit of a mare. Uh, but I'm in no rush today. Um, whenever I get to Gargrave, uh, they'll tip me anyway. Um, I am currently on time. Uh, it's it's on paperwork. It's down for two o'clock. So I am currently. It says I'm going to be there for 25 past one at the moment. Um, I did have a 15 minute in Strentham, I had some breakfast and uh, took my tablets because I was struggling this morning so I did need to take my tablets ASAP. Um, so I stopped off for some breakfast in Strentham, had my tablets and uh, then cracked on. So I need a half hour now which will probably be in Lim Truck Stop. I'll stop at Lim. Uh, I know then I'm about an hour and a half away then from Gargrave there. So I've got about 55 minutes before I'm at Lim. Um, I got three hours and 10 minutes on the clock driving so far from the yard. So I will be in within my four and a half to get to Lim, so that's good. Uh, so I'm gonna crack on and up to, uh, to Gargrave, get that tipped off, reloaded, and then uh, head up towards Kilmarnock. But as I said, I'll be stopping at Route 74. I'll be giving them a call about one o'clock to book my space for this evening. So yes, uh, a bit of a, a bit, a bit of a challenge to get back tomorrow. Uh, again, dependent on uh, where I'm supposed to be picking up a backload from. Um, but I know I'm from Route 74 to Kilmarnock is about 50 minutes, so I'll have nine hours and ten minutes in uh, on a ten-hour drive. To, uh, to get back down. I can do a 15, I can do a 15 today. Uh, all my days this week have been sort of 12, 12 and a half hours. So I haven't gone over a 13 hour shift this week. So I've got my 15s and I've got my 10s. I can do a 10 hour drive today. I can do a 10 hour drive tomorrow. So uh, fingers crossed, um, should be okay. Uh, again, dependent on, on whatever the back load is, so. I am going to mention the uh, the ride at some point during this uh, video because uh, obviously I need to uh, do some shout outs for people that have uh, donated uh, and a great big huge thank you to them that have. Uh, I've had a couple of big ones, a couple of hundred pounders, uh, which has been nice. Uh, so the last I looked, which was last night, I think we went on 2,175, I think, or 2,125 maybe. But yeah, it's been a good result. A uh, big thank you to uh, Mr. Luke C as well uh, for putting a little uh, vid out on uh, his last video. I think that's uh, that brought in a few few more donations. So thank you, Luke. Uh, I know Jay's going to be doing it for me as well. So a big shout out to uh, Trucker Jay as well for uh, for supporting me in uh, or me and my brothers actually uh, for the ride that we're doing in July. If you're unsure, if you're first, you know, if you're new here and you're unsure of what I'm doing, uh, myself and my brothers, we have a channel uh, called Biker Brothers. It's all an adventure. We are going to be doing a uh, round the UK tour, four points to the UK, in aid of cancer research. And uh, uh, my brothers and I were, were self-funding it. We're actually, you know, no one's going to help us out with the payment, you know, with the trip, the cost of the run. Uh, we're going to do it ourselves uh, to do um, one to raise awareness for cancer, uh, two to see if we can get some money for cancer research, uh, three in memory of our sister who passed away from cancer just over two years ago, uh, and four uh, to spend some quality time together. Uh, it's not very often we get a chance to spend some quality time and we're going we're to do this trip over eight days. We're starting off in, on Monday July the 10th, we are going to be at Pont Abram Services uh, first thing in the morning. So if there's anywhere, anyone in the vicinity that day uh, that want to come say hello to us before we head off, uh, Alan's coming down from uh, West Wales. Uh, we're going to meet up at Pond Abram and then we're going to head off to St. David's from there. And then we'll go in St. David's, up to John O'Groats, down the Nest Point, and then across to Land's End and then back to Pond Abram, uh, which will be a full circle of the UK. Uh, now originally we wanted to do it on motorways uh, but I don't think that is going to be possible um, in the time space that we have 
So uh, a lot of it is going to be non-motorway, uh, quite a bit of it actually. Um, but uh, there is going to be a, a second day I think we're doing a lot of motorway riding because um, we're stopping at Chester at the end of the first day and then we're going up to Pitlochry. Um, so from Chester to Pitlochry we are going to divert through the Peak District. Uh, so that's going to be nice, a uh, nice little run through the peaks and then back out onto the motorway and then back up um, towards Perth and then over to Pitlochry that way. Um, so that day will probably be, there'll be a little bit of motorway riding on that. But then when we go from Pitlochry up to John O'Groats, obviously it's all A roads, uh, which will be a lovely, lovely, lovely ride. Uh, scenery is going to be fantastic going up there. And then we'll be coming back down to Aberdeen. Now we'll be stopping at Aberdeen at the end of the second day. So we've got some, got some riding ahead of us on the first two days. Um, but we are really, really looking forward to it. And uh, I know someone has said that uh, they'd like to join us down in Cornwall. Uh, so I've said, yep, yeah, no problem at all. Um, obviously, we keep in touch. And then when we get down that way, you can meet up with us somewhere. Uh, sorry, I'll, I'll look at the name later on. I can't remember the name. I do apologize. Um, but uh, they have said that they'd like to join us with uh, his respective other half and his father. They all, rode they all ride motorbikes and they want to join us for a part of the trip. So if there's anyone there, you know, anyone around, whenever we're going, I will put up a, a full list of, uh, of where we're going. Uh, when it gets uh, nearer the point and uh, if anyone's around and you ride a bike uh, and you'd like to join us on the trip at some point or just want to meet up and say hello then uh, by all means drop me a line and uh, we can arrange something uh, around our trip so that'll be nice so anyway i'm going about the trip now uh, but a bit later on i will uh, i'll read out some names and uh, you know of the, everyone that's donated so far so thank you guys, much appreciated. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, so at the moment now I'm just heading up to Gargrave. Uh, as you can see, I'm on the M6. And uh, yeah, it's uh, pretty good running now at the moment. But, uh, anything can happen. According to the sat nav, I got no delays in front of me. So we will just have to wait and see, see, uh, see how the day goes today, really. So as I say, I'm going into Gargrave, tip reloading Gargrave, and then head up towards um, Route 74 for this evening. So I'm going to crack on, and uh, I'll probably speak to you now just before I get to Gargrave, and I'll take you to Gargrave with me. So I'll see you in a bit. Toodles. All right, you join me. Ooh. About three hours later, I suppose, something like that. Uh, I decided I was going to have a 45 in limp. Say, there's no rush to get up yet. I literally just loading, uh, or tipping and reloading here, and then end up the 74 for tonight. So, thought, yeah, I'm going to have a 45. So, I had a 45 in limp. So, I'm going to get there for quarter past two. So, that's pretty good. Since the, uh, the, the little breakdown that we had on the, the M6 earlier, uh, traffic has been pretty good. Free flowing and yeah, no troubles whatsoever, touch wood. I've still got a few hours to go here once I've cleared here. But uh, normally, once we go up um, 65 towards. Um, remember the name of it but, 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 but. anyway I rejoin the M6 further up north it's normally pretty quiet then going up the M6 to the 74 I can never remember the name of the place it begins with a K gone completely Kendall that's the one Kendall just saw it on the sign there. <laughs> Didn't have an epiphany, it just saw it on the sign, Kendall. And it's by there as well. So yeah, head up towards Kendall then, pick up the M6 at Kendall, and then head up. Obviously not going quick enough for him. Find that a lot on these A roads. Never know, I 
this A65 from Kendall downwards is, is quite a nice road, so you never know. We might do, coming back, we might come down to 65 on the uh, the old bike trip when we're coming down from Scotland. Uh, we shall have to see. A little bit chilly, you know, seven degrees out there, it was nine earlier on. Apparently it's supposed to be quite mild up in Scotland. 10, 11 degrees up there. Quite tropical, in fact, compared to down south. And I left the house this morning, it was minus two. I defrost the card again. Poor old Mrs. J, she's got another cold. She's constantly outside in the cold at the moment. It's not doing her much good, this coach work, I've got to be honest. <laughs> it's because she's not the uh, wrong time of the year at the moment, there's no tours going or anything like that. It's just school runs and then hanging around the yard all day and then school runs in the afternoon. I imagine that could be quite tedious and boring. Less than a mile away now. You can see the factory over there. Where I'm going to. Bring you in with me. I know you've done this run with me many, many, many times, but you never know. As you all say, something different could happen on the way in or whatever. So, put the cameras on. Why not, innit? Why the heck not? Uh, forget if you are watching and you're not subscribed, you must well take this opportunity to, uh, you know, get it in there again. If you're not subscribed, um, then why not contemplate pressing that subscribe button? Doesn't cost you anything, all free of charge. And when you do that, then you can then press the bell notification to get notifications when my vlogs come out. And if you're into your bikes, then uh, why not check out my number brother's biker channel? Biker Brothers, it's all an event. We've had quite a few uh, subscribers over the last couple of weeks, which is nice. Of extra, I think we've had about a hundred now in the hundred subscribers in the last week or so. so obviously, the message you're getting out there that we're uh, we're going to be doing something. So there's a few more people watching now. Not that we've put up any uh, new content yet. Hopefully, that will remedy itself very soon. Was aiming to get on the bike last week, but. Or last weekend, but to no fruition, too cold, too icy. I'm not taking a chance with a 20 grand bike and putting it down on the deck on icy roads. No, not happening. So I knocked that into touch. But uh, this weekend's supposed to be milder, gray but dry. So I might take it out for a spin on the weekend. Um, either gonna take it up to my brother's in West Wales. Thanks guys, because um, we've got to, uh, got to put his little plate on his bike for him so he can put his tom-tom on. Um, or, I know we're going to see Claire's mum on Sunday. I know Claire's going up in the car, so I might tag along on the bike just to give it a bit of a run because it needs it now. I've had to take the battery off it once already, take it home and charge it. Because I've got no electric in my uh, my little lockup, so I was well, saying that even if I did, I don't think I could put a trickle charger on it yet. Uh, I think you could have a special one for the GS. Not sure, but that's what I've been told. So I took the battery off, took that home and uh, charged it up overnight last weekend, and took it back down, put it back on. But the bike does need a run now. It's been like two and a half months since it's been out on the road. Time to give it a spin. Hopefully, that'll be this weekend. If it is, I'll take the camera with me. 
All right, let's see if there is anyone here. Do I got to wait or whether I'm straight on the bay? It's starting to rain as well. Nope, no one yet. I think I'm going on the bay 10. So I'm single, single stacked. Here he comes. Oh, my jacket. How we doing, buddy? You alright? Yeah. Uh, it's a high trailer, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you're taking one for a face there, yeah, Kilmarnock. Kilmarnock, yeah. So if you go on bay. Bay 8, yeah? And then loads and double loads for you. Okay. No problem. How's the back? Looks like you're still struggling. Yeah, still struggling. Yeah. Oh, I hope these back doors. Oh. Tip this one, and then they're gonna load me with a double stacker. Oh, I tell you what, this fibromyalgia is a killer, absolute killer. Oof. I'm honest, I don't really know how much longer I'm gonna be able to do this for, because even the painkillers aren't seem don't seem to be working at the moment. Right. Get out the way. Um, uh, what are we gonna do? Uh, screws the hands. Eep. Let's unplug you. I don't think I unplugged that then. Right. That was a complete waste of time, wasn't it? Yeah. <sighs> All hard work, it really is. <sighs> right. On the bay. <sighs> Let's just 
get loaded now. It's tipped and loaded. Take that one off. Uh, I think it's about three and a half hours to Route 74 from here. Let's have a look. truck stop yeah three and a half hours three hours 29 minutes so it's all good I'll probably be here about an hour I would think and then uh, and crack on it so I should be up there for about seven ish uh, once we put the suspension up I think Yep. Yeah, lower it down, yeah? No problem. to get done now. I'll be on my way again. I'll catch you in a bit. Toodles. Hey guys, welcome back. It's now Friday morning. And I am currently going down the A71. Uh, normally, uh, we go into uh, Thompson's Removals in uh, Kilmarnock, which was the original destination I had. But I got told yesterday that um, the destination has changed. I'm dropping it off somewhere else and I'm going down into Irvine. Uh, about eight minutes away from that, 5.6 miles. Never been there before, so this should be fun. It's on an industrial estate or a business park, so it shouldn't be too bad. It's a lovely morning, a bit fresh. Minus one out there at the moment. But it's dry, which is uh, always a good thing. I didn't record last night because you see me coming into Route 74 and everything else. Um, but you did see a little uh, time lapse of me coming out of Gargrave yesterday. So I hope you enjoyed the little time lapse. Normally, I get to this round, I might normally go left down towards Troon, 
and then hook a right and then it's literally just around the corner from there then but he's not going there today beautiful sunrise behind me I love it up here I really do rather not be up here on a Friday morning I've got to be honest but I do love it up here it's uh It's amazing. The scenery up here is superb. I really can't wait to get up here on the bike. Another five months, five and a half months. And we'll be up this way. Alright, I mean now I'm going into uncharted territory. <laughs> I say normally I go left there. I says Irvine six miles there, but I got 4.4 miles my destination. Uh, according to what I was sent yesterday, well, they've changed it on the um, on the manifest on the app. That it's uh, it's still Thompson's removals, but it's just unit one instead of the place. Whether it is Thompson's or not, I don't know. So I'm just gonna have to. Look for unit one, hope it is Thompson's because I haven't been getting, given any other names for it, so we shall just have to wait and see. There's something different, isn't there? Something different for you to see. six miles left on this one now and then going straight over the roundabout according to that and according to Google um, it opens at nine o'clock as well so I had a bit of a line this morning got up about 20 past six my car in at seven Uh, Route 74, just out of the quarter past seven, between quarter past twenty past seven. But uh, I got to be honest, I can't see me getting back tonight. It's going to be uh, just over an hour's driving. By the time I get here, then I got to go further west my uh, collection point for my back load and then I'll have to come back this way then because it's the only way because I've got a tall trailer on I've got a 15.7 trailer on today I'm going to have to come back this way to get back down towards the 74 so I can do a 10 today but I think I'm going to be struggling <coughs> I think I am going to be struggling to get back, got to be honest. Can't really complain. I mean, it's been a while since I've run in on a Saturday. But it does tend to, tend to be a trend setting. <laughs> and I might be the last one back. Well, I'll be the last one back again. Whether it be tonight or tomorrow morning uh, a couple of weeks ago I was local I was still the last one to finish work that one out and it's absolutely beautiful isn't it the colors with the Sun coming up a little bit and then again 
it might get worse. <laughs> in 0.7 miles we've got 1.2 miles Miami bit of a slow coach here Seven miles, two minutes away. Oh yeah, that was the office ringing. Apparently they've got a uh, container coming in at nine o'clock. So obviously they're opening it before nine. So I said I'm literally one minute away. I'm just about to pull in there now. As long as I can find the place. is it could be morning buddy how are you not so bad yourself morning. i'm in the right place then welcome to our new abode yes <laughs> <laughs> Double stack? Double stack, mate, yeah. Park in the middle, I'll tip you. Yeah, no problem. So if you want to turn round or what? Or... Yeah, I'll, um, uh, might be able to swing around by here, actually. So it is them, and it's a new place. As you said, welcome to the new abode. Huh? There's the container, look. Made it just before the container got you.
pretty straightforward to find, isn't it? So that's good. Right, let's get this lot tipped. I'll speak to you in a bit. Hey guys. Right, being tipped. Uh, just started on the container as well, so uh, might be a little while, but uh, yeah, it's all right. Um, apparently, this is going to be the new place for delivery for uh, for Thompson. So, so it's pretty straightforward. Sat nav brings you straight to it. Just got to follow the road round. Uh, where do you can see there? Oh, sunset there. Sunrise, I should say, not sunset. Just coming up over the trees there. Bit cold though. Uh, but uh, yeah, here's the truck. Was clean. I did wash it on Wednesday. But uh, yeah, coming up yesterday and, and today, it's, uh, it's not the best. But uh, better than it was before I washed it last time. It was absolutely bogging. Yeah, it's tipping me off now. Look, two more to come off. I'll move those bars then. But uh, yeah, it's pretty open, pretty straightforward place to get to. A uh, beautiful sunrise. Lovely jubbly. Bit fresh. Minus one, but yeah, is what it is, isn't it? <laughs> right, let's get this all tipped off and then uh, see how far away this other place is that I'm going to and see whether I got a chance of getting back then. So, I doubt it. Probably be tomorrow morning I'll get home. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. Right, catch you in a bit, guys. Toodles. All right. All tipped. Sun's gonna be a bit bright, so let's put these on, I think. Uh, no. Nope. Just waiting for I can't get a signal on my uh, works phone, so I can't activate my app to get all the details for my pickup. So I just rang the office to give me the postcode, uh, which doesn't come up on the sat nav, but uh, I know it's BPI. Apparently, it was there two years ago. Go on to Google. Uh, so uh, it's on Lundholm Road and it's 16 minutes away. So not bad. That's uh, that's doable. <laughs> so that means I've only got I'll only have an hour and a half on the clock. Which gives me eight and a half hours then to get back. <laughs> it's gonna be close. It's gonna be very close, I think. Uh, but I do need, uh, Matt's going to send me uh, uh, the details of it because I'm going to obviously need the, uh, the collection reference. <coughs> Unless I can get a signal up on my phone once I've moved. Also, uh, got it up on my Google Maps as well. And, uh, My phone goes up. Let's see if it's from Matt. I don't need them. It's not bright. It's not bright. That's, uh, messages from my post that I just put up. I took a beautiful photo with the sunrise. Lovely. I could probably use it as my thumbnail as well. Yeah, so apparently I was in this place two years ago. Now, looking at the pictures of this on Google, I think I know the one that it is. Um, might be wrong. If I remember correctly, the entrance is just on a roundabout there. But we'll see. We'll see. May all come back to me by the time I get there. it on my phone now so I'll have the collection reference that's just messaged it to me yeah I 
got a feeling this is going to be a close one today. They get back. I don't know whether I'm going to have enough time. I know from Perth, it's a nine hour run back to the yard. And from Route 74, it's an hour and a half up to Perth. So I reckon. Uh, so I reckon it's going to be about eight and a quarter hours. So. And I can normally make time up going back down as well. But that means I'm probably going to hit Birmingham and, and rush hour. Which could put me back. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. And at the end of the day, if I end up having to stop at either Jen's or uh, Monmouth Services for the evening, then uh, I'll just have an hour running in the morning, just get up early, have an hour running. No biggie really. I'm not going to keep you, uh, I'm not going to keep the cameras going for 12 minutes now. So what I'll do is I'll shut them down and uh, I'll come back to you uh, just before I get there. A couple of minutes beforehand. So I'll see you in about 10 minutes. Toodles. Okay, right. Join me nine minutes later. <laughs> uh, if I remember correctly, looks like I was right. It's on the roundabout down here now. And I think that's BPI over there. And if I remember correctly, they were as good as gold the last time I was here. Literally just off this roundabout. that I was loaded the last time. Right. That's my signal to come back now. I'll get something on you. Maybe, maybe not. Activating. No, nothing on that. Oh. Oh. Alright, that's done on there. So, message, there we go. Reference McGorn Matrix. Hopefully that'll uh, mean something to him. I'll take that with me just in case. Right, let's shut that down. All right, let's go and say hello. Let's see what's happening. Come back to it in a bit. Doodles. Hey guys. I'm not getting home tonight. Definitely not. I got 8 hours 56 back to the ad. I have got 8 hours and 20 on a 10. I know I can make some time up, but I don't think I'm going to make up that much. And I've only got until 10 o'clock tonight. And it says at the moment uh, I'm going to get back at 20 past 9. Because it's now 25 past 12. <sighs> Two hours I was in there for. one to uh, to strap down as well so it's taken me a while to strap it all <sighs> not good so yeah it doesn't look like I'm getting home tonight 
I reckon it's either going to be uh, Jens or Monmouth. One of the two. I don't think I'm going to make up 25 minutes. Not on a Friday. I think I've got more chance of getting run over by a rampaging gnat. So, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, I right, better crack on down. Uh, next time I stop now, I'll come back to you and uh, I'll read out some shout outs, some names of everyone that's uh, donated. I did uh, do a few last week, but obviously <laughs> didn't come out. So I've got quite a few names to read out this week. Uh, but you know, if you, are, uh, if you are watching and you're not subscribed on this channel or the biker channel, then we'll not uh, Press that subscribe button or pop over to Bikers, Biker Brothers, it's all an adventure. And uh, give a subscribe on that channel as well. And uh, yeah, if you're able to, link will be in the description. Um, click on the link and if you can donate anything, it would be very much appreciated. So I'm gonna crack on and I will see you when I'm pulled up somewhere. Toodles. guys turn that off I got back we're literally well smack on 10 hours basically uh, may have gone over by one minute as I pulled up but uh, I'm back back of the yard and it is now 21.59 just washed the truck I got back here at uh, 25 to 10 so I've uh, just washed up now washed it all up do my paperwork now and uh, head off home but I'm back I'm home thank goodness I'm gonna stay out tonight um, I was I had every intention that I was gonna be staying at Strentham tonight but I had a good rundown I literally done Lancaster services where I had a break to to here in four hours and 22 minutes couldn't believe it unheard of from Lancaster back to here four hours 22 but yeah absolutely brilliant um, 
All right, uh, as promised, I'm gonna read some, uh, read some names out for the people that have uh, donated. Uh, do this very quickly. Uh, right. I think Claire must be sleeping. I've let her know I'm back of the yard and she hasn't seen it yet. So she must be asleep. Uh, right, where are we to? Go fund me, sign in. Bear with me two seconds. That's a go. Okay. Right. Just hope I got a signal here now. Yep, there we go. Right, we are on £2,105 so far. Uh, right, we have got, there's going to be quite a few names because obviously from last week as well. We have got uh, Viral Shah, Charles Abel, George Wrigley, Julia Beal, Paul Miller, Peter Boothman, Ben Rose, Brian Williams, David Briggs, Julie Weber, uh, Chris McCann, Ian Bland, Joe Shaw, Paul Morris, Jason Bromfield, uh, Lenny Parry, John Maloney, Paul Waterhouse, Andrew Greenan, Daniel Hope, Andrew Thornton, Marion Stephen, Scott McKenzie, Peter Heaton, Sean Holcomb, Nathaniel Watkins, Carol Williams, Ray Hitchman, Paul Westergram, Andy Williment, uh, Ian Kernigan, Chris Davis, and Chris from work, so thank you Chris, Shane May, Kenneth Hartfield, Andrew, Melanie and Ruthie, Stephen Churchill, Alex Semple, Richard Pope, Charlie Spaulding, Liz Davidson, Peter Jack, Leah Jenkins, which is my niece, thank you Leah, you're an absolute star, uh, John Wilson, Paul Macklin, Anthony Valentine, Tracy Drew, uh, it's an anon anonymous. Uh, Lee Pullen, Paul Johnson, Harriet Johnson, Chris Butler, Tasha Goody, uh, Pete Schultness, Phil Armstrong, John Abel, Lee Bengoff, uh, Leads the Fallen Vlogs, Paul Cox, Ross McGarry, Chris Johnson, Robert Willis, Andrew Powell, Albert Johnson, uh, another anonymous, uh, Nicholas Castleton, Jeremy Brett. Thomas Hearn, David Cornby, uh, David Linney, Steve Bennett, Christopher Stratton, Brian McKenna, John Shepard, John Stokes, Luke Thompson, Malcolm Smith, um, I think that's uh, Ewan Good, Grace Kraus, Samantha Williams, uh, Joanne Moore, Sean Holcomb, uh, my mother, Margaret Jenkins, thank you mum. Kai Jones and Simon Rose. They're the ones, all the ones I haven't read out. Now, someone sent me a message earlier as well to say that they donated, but I didn't read the name out, so they must be an anonymous. Um, I th what was it on? Was it Messenger? I can't remember now. Let's have a look. Uh, switch over to me Trucker Janko page, if it'll go over. Uh, do, 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 do. No, one on there. Looks like I missed someone, missed someone up at uh, Fortin Tra um, Services, uh, Lancaster, I believe that is. Um, Melanie, uh, Melanie Briggs, her other half, came over to see me as, just as I was pulling out. Sorry, buddy, <laughs> missed you. Uh, so it's not on there, so it might be uh, on the Insta, perhaps. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, no, nope, not on that one. Uh, OK. 
can't find it now. Oh, I don't know where it was then. Primary. Often in four sent me a message. Hope you make it home tonight from Scotland. Yes, I've made it home. Thank goodness. Uh, Mercedes Freeman. No, it's not that one. No, I apologise. I know you sent me a message saying that you'd sent me one. So we've had the last new truck as well, just seen it on uh, Instagram. Uh, Colin's the lucky driver of that one. Uh, nope, sorry, I can't find it. I do apologise, but I cannot find it. Um, uh, someone just he sent me a mail, I think it was yesterday he sent it actually, asking uh, for a shout out because I uh, hadn't given him a shout. So it's probably one in the anonymous. So I do apologise, I can't find it. So. Um, right, so I'm going to do my paperwork now. Uh, don't forget, by the way, link is in the description if you want to uh, donate towards our uh, Four Points of the UK tour in July uh, in aid of cancer research and in memory of our sister, Samantha. Um, so if you want to, uh, if you'd like to donate, then uh, please click the link below and then, uh, yeah, that'll, uh, that'll go up there and that gets paid straight to uh, Cancer Research UK. So thank you guys, much appreciated. Um, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. was there anything else Not that I can think of right I'm going to sort myself out here now and then I'm going to head off home um, so whatever you're doing guys be safe, be good and I'll most definitely catch you in the next one toodles <laughs>